Hi guys, it's me, The Rainmaker, and today I'm going to be looking at the RAM 2012 Archive Collection CD box set. If you don't mind, please may you like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, and comment on what you think I should do next. Anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, so now you look at the box, and it is very similar to the previous three I've looked at with the cover of the original album up on top, and below you have the Paul McCartney archive collection in text and his signature. And again, looking at the back, it's nothing like the original. Of course, with the number of the set, you know, without like a maximum. This is the 1000th. 586th copy. Now on the back we have again the old classic um, sheet that was included with all of these but it's a bit different. I don't know if you've noticed but this isn't just an old book this is thick and it's and you have to open this to access everything. I tried to store it in there but it just damaged it. So yeah, what is included is, again, the original 12-track album, 8 bonus tracks, the remastering on the mono album, and Thrillington, Thrillington's the um, instrumental version of the album, a DVD, a downloadable, but, uh, a downloadable code, a 112-page book, 8 full-size fazimines of pause radio, Low sheet, how do you pronounce that? Mini photographic book and a uh, five prints of RAM era photography. Now we're gonna open this, and immediately you see that on the back you have artwork from the original back of the album cover, which you also saw on the sheet right there. And of course, you move on and you get the first book thingy included. Of course, you see the book, and unlike the other three sets, this is not attached to the original, to the actual set. This is a separate book with photographs and artwork similar to the album. And it's binds in an interesting way. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a bunch of different books sewed together. And the cover is hard work, but the rest of the pages are just soft. And of course, there are the lyrics to the songs. And you know, the credits. Now next we have the the uh, envelope which includes lyrics. So we flip this to the back and no, this isn't a, an envelope from 1971. This is just a reproduction. So of course we have a ribbon and basically you untie, you basically, you know, untie it. And inside you get pictures. So basically there are glossy photos printed on like good paper and stuff and, a th and there are a few of them Next we have the third book which is the photos book So you see the book and it's mostly you know just a collage of photos that was um that was taken around the time. You might recognize this one as this was used in the 2016 Pro McCartney compilation. Now we have three things to pick out and I'm gonna go with the top one first. And this one is an envelope, which is lyrics for actual this time, trust me. So of course you have the rhythm and you just, um, Untie it. Of course, there's a lot of these to go through. 
And these are, of course, reproductions. They're not original drawings. So... And there are two things left, and I'm picking up the thing from the left, which is a small book of sheep. This is indeed a small book of sheep photos that Paul took on his farm during the photography of the original record. Nothing much to say about this. And finally, we have a flap here, and now, of course, we know what, and of course, you know what's going to happen next. We're going to look at the CDs. So you take away this cardboard bit, you get the little sticker that comes in the front of this that shows you what is included. This, it's just the code for the album. And of course, it, this is like, and this is um, a thing that you got with this. Instead of showing future releases, which you did back in those days, not now, you it basically got a free exclusivity to his website and you got everything free from that. You didn't have to pay for anything. And now finally we get the CDs. This is the remastered album. The bonus tracks. The mono version. Thrill Ingerton. And the bonus DVD. Time to get everything back in its original place. And I have magically just done that. Anyway, if you have gotten all the way to this end part of the video, thank you for doing that. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell, share the video and comment on what you think I should do next. As an ending note, I did do another unboxing like two and a half years ago. It's awful. Literally nothing's in focus. Please don't watch that old one. Watch this if you want to, if you want to watch the unboxing again. Watch this one again. Please don't go to that old one. And remember, it's the Raymakers. Thank you for watching.